Hey, what's up, man? So, I'm showing you how to make popcorn on the stove right now. So we got a big pot, all right, right here. And electric stove, we have it at six. And it's actually, I do it on the small burner. So not the big burner over there. For whatever reason, works better on the small burner. So, uh, we're gonna take two tablespoons of ghee and put it on the bottom of the pot. You can measure it out. I just do it like this. So two tablespoons, and it's not coming off. You can let the spoon rest on the bottom to melt off the... Okay, there we go. Now it's melting. Now drop two or three kernels of popcorn into the oil, and then put the lid on. And then you just let it sit here until you see those kernels, at least one kernel, start to pop. Once one kernel starts to pop, then you can take half a cup of the other kernels and go ahead and dump it into the pot and then i will show you what to do once it heats up okay sorry so i skipped a step here i was trying to set up the tripod i figured that'd be easier i'm like how am i going to do this with one handed so anyway you can see the popcorn is i dumped it in here so one of the kernels already popped and dump it in give it a shake to kind of get all the kernels covered in oil and then just let it sit uh once you start hearing kernels popping then you can give it a shake every you know 15 20 seconds i'll just sit here uh, and then you know kind of shake it around a little bit thing is you want to keep the popcorn that is popped moving around so that it doesn't burn while the kernels stay in the bottom and heat up and then pop so while that's going uh if you want to get really decadent i mean you can just go like this either coconut oil ghee butter any kind of oil in here uh, and then just eat it like that we will usually do a couple of tablespoons of butter as well. So while the popcorn is popping, I'm gonna get a couple of tablespoons of butter. So once the popcorn has finished popping, uh, I will melt this on the stove. I'll just actually set it here so that it'll melt a little bit uh, while the popcorn's popping. Uh, and then I'll melt this and then I'll drizzle it over the top of the popcorn and then put a little bit of salt on it. And it's really, really good. So there you go, you can see the popcorn popping inside of there. It's key to keep the lid on. It keeps the heat and the steam in here, which helps the popcorn pop better. Once it's done popping though, you wanna take the lid off right away. Just a little bit. Uh, you wanna take the lid off right away, that way the popcorn doesn't get soggy. All right, so we have the popcorn popped. Uh, you can see it doesn't even, not quite halfway for the pot. Uh, you can do it in a smaller pot, but then it's harder to shake up the popcorn when it's popping to keep it from burning. And it's also harder to uh, stir in the butter and things. Patricia's gonna get some ice from the refrigerator right now, so it's gonna be loud. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and she's done. So I just realized this is actually quite a bit of butter uh, with the, it's a little bit more than two tablespoons, but hey, right? It's Sunday night, we can live a little bit. So yeah, so all I do is I'll dribble a little bit on top of the popcorn like that, throw some salt on. And of course this is the raw natural earth salt or whatever it is. Anyway, so there we go. Yes, yeah, sea salt and then a little more salt. And then usually two, two uh, rounds of salt is good. And then I will go in and then pour the rest of the butter on, stir it up, and there you go. Like I said earlier, you don't need butter, but it does make a huge difference. So anyway, go make some popcorn. Oh, also the popcorn we get, we actually get it at Trader Joe's. They have organic uh, popcorn kernels, so. Go make some.